Hey Libras, and welcome to your November 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And I feel like Libras need to like buckle their seatbelts because you are moving fast this month. You are leaving behind the dreary experience that you've been having and starting a new congratulations. Uh, Jupiter is moving from Scorpio to Sagittarius. I think you're feeling that strongly. I think you're on the right track and I think you're doing the right thing in this month, Libra. I think that your gut decisions and like ideas of what you need to do for your future are really well tuned good job on that um you're still dealing with a lot though um i so i pulled up the image for your reading um and i see like the devil i see five of pentacles i see um well those are it's two of swords you know um justice it's not so bad it's not so great it's not so terrible but um i love that the fool is your central theme really really wonderful rising above. Ten of Cups is nice. Um, three of Cups is really nice as well. You know, is it worth it, Libra? Is is what you're going through right now worth worth it in the long run? I think you're making a change. I think that you are taking on something new, but are you taking it with you? What are you carrying? What are you carrying as you make the new decisions in your life? Like, if you look at the Fool as your central theme there, like with the rucksack that they have, what does that contain? As you make new decisions, as you take new things on, as you make new relationships, what do you take with you from the past? It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful month to understand what that is and to look at yourself closely, to really for forage, forge the relationship with yourself to be something more grand and amazing. Something that I've noticed for pretty much all of the signs this month in November is that there's such a contrast and such a polarity in the readings. You have like incredible the fool, ten of cups, three of cups, but then also the devil, five of pentacles, um, and two of swords. So it's like for everything that's really wonderful, you kind of encounter something that's scary. So for those of you taking a relationship to the next level, like you enjoy this person, you love this person, but you start to see, wow, am I too attached? Am I like needing to know things about them that kind of hurt the relationship? Am I needing to... Um, uh, voice my truth in a way that does not honor the relationship that I have been creating with myself. As I feel you have a lot of opportunities in November, and this is interesting, to not honor your self, to not honor the relationship that you have created with yourself, okay? So could this be a test from the universe? It could be to like really set into place the incredible self-dialogue and self-relationship that you have, again, forged. Um, it might be good to, and this is kind of like a deep spiritual thing, like I, I guess that people who are like really um, uh, working on themselves, I, I hope that everyone would do this, but if you're really working on yourself, you might just this month like note down on a piece of paper every time you almost go against yourself or every time that you engage in some kind of behavior that gives you nothing or like really makes you feel bad about yourself, makes you feel like a uh, self-conscious um, in, in a, a negative way. It might really be good to note that down and then come towards the end of November and seeing like how many times that happened, maybe even how you reacted. So for example, like for those of you who've been single and like maybe dating or something, um, you meet someone who, uh, has the same qualities as someone who um, was quite codependent or abusive to you in the past. And you sort of have this moment where you realize it and you see like, okay, this could go down the same exact path that I experienced before. And you have that moment to kind of like bow out or that moment to at least like confront the situation, but you don't. Um, it's gonna be important to see those situations and to understand like why, why it was hard to not do what was right for you. So what has been right for you, Libra, over the last few months even, and why has it not been possible? Why has what has been right not been possible? That's gonna be like really important to understand for yourself because I see all of these really nice opportunities coming up for you. I see all of these like really beautiful paths, but for some reason you don't allow yourself to go down them and you're choosing similar paths of the past, which aren't necessarily bad. And at least you're giving yourself the authority to choose your own path. I'm at least proud of you for that. But really take some time here, especially in the beginning of November, to um, think what is the best path for me and how can I enjoy and thrive through what is happening. On a more mundane level, Libra, I do see you being in the company of very wonderful and splendid people. I see you toasting. I see you celebrating something. So perhaps you've gotten 
um, a promotion. Um, also with Ten of Cups, it could be like a marriage celebration. So for those of you who are getting married, I do feel that this is a supported time and I feel that you are surrounded by people who encourage you. Um, this is a time where you can also kind of break the bank with things. So watch out for overspending. Um, again, whether that be money or energetic and energy, whether it be money or energy, watch out for how much you're spending and watch out for how much you're taking on because uh, Five of Pentacles Reverse does suggest that we're over doing it one way or another with um, some type of spending. Um, and ultimately, before I get into the week to week, uh, remember that you are facing yourself here. You have justice in your reading, which is your major arcana card. You will be seeing yourself at a bigger level. You will be seeing yourself um, with what the inner version of you needs. So that's kind of coming through weird. And there's like a throat chakra thing that y'all are going through too as well, because I see, I see your messages really clearly, but there's a difficulty in articulating that. So a difficulty in explaining to yourself what your messages are, like what you're seeing. Like you see things, you feel things, but then it might be hard to communicate them. So with the devil in your reading, it's like um, even if there are sort of negative cycles starting to crop up in your life, it's hard to like put a finger on it because you can't quite communicate it. Or if someone does something that hurts you, they don't even realize they've done it because you've not communicated it to them. So if you are hurt by someone in this month, Libra, can you communicate it to them? Can you confront a situation? I do feel like confronting a situation with love and grace is the ultimate beauty that you can come into this month and like really handling a situation with um b with beauty and with like the venusian charm that you have but like not at the same time not like letting people take advantage of you so really step into a place in november where you can confront the situations which do not need to be rested upon in a way that is lovely and beneficial for everyone involved Okay, Libras, I'm going to go ahead and get into the week to week and see if we can get some more specific uh, information for you to use during this month of November. Week number one, you have five of pentacles reversed, rooted down by ten of cups. So joint finances or joint um, endeavors with someone that you love or a business partner. But I'm feeling more so like even like a family. It's like it's family, whether it be who you're married to or whether it be a family member. It's like there's something that you've gone in on together or something that you're working on together, which is being a little bit hazardous and overtaxing to you. You're drained by what people expect from you and the um, products that they expect you to contribute to a project. So what you're expected to contribute is a source of difficulty for you right now and I would recommend you to um, really make your boundaries clear in the first week of November uh, November about what you can do and about what you can accomplish and it, it's like odd as I'm in your energy Libra like it's it feels like it has to be so fast like I can't keep up with the messages I'm having to talk really quick side note a lot of people talk about how fast I talk on my channel and how fast I speak when I'm reading it's really not that natural to me to speak fast. If you notice when I'm in normal conversation, I don't speak as quickly, but I, in order to keep up with the messages, sometimes I have to speak really quickly because they disappear. And you're thinking a hundred miles an hour right now, Libra. Libra is an energy. is like, think, 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 think. What can I say? What can I do? What can I, what, where, where, where am I going? And it's like all over the place. <laughs> and it's not bad because you're solidified onto a path, which is really beautiful, but, um, it's too fast. You're, you're too, you're analyzing too much the environment around you, paying too close attention to fine detail, which does not need to be seen by you. So really slow down, you know, especially moving into the second week, page of swords rooted down by the devil. Page of swords, again, is a very quick energy. It's um, a know-it-all type of energy. Like I have to know everything, even like prone to like eavesdropping or prone to like looking through the messages of your partner with the devil reversed. I can just say plain and simple that a lot of you are getting addicted to snooping on your partner or snooping on who you're with or having a knowledge that is not necessarily yours to have. Um, sometimes you have to do that. I mean, sometimes there are situations in which you have to investigate a situation, but um, it's not healthy for you right now, Libra. It's making your mind think too quickly. Like, for example, for those of you in a relationship who are encountering this type of thing, like, like your significant other goes to the bathroom or something and you have to like look through their phone really quickly. And if you don't, you start to feel bad and you start thinking, okay, what's on their phone or what am I doing? And then you start thinking like, what's on my phone? Am I doing something bad? Or are they looking through my phone? There's a lot of like back and forth, like situation, 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 this equals that, this go, 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 go. And I'm sure y'all are quite stressed out with the way that I'm wording it, but I'm just trying to mirror what I'm sensing in your own energy field right now. And it's something that you guys need to see really clearly because um this is not something that is maintainable like this energy is not something that you can sustain so let's slow down let's and and when i say slow down i feel the libra energy saying like i can't be slow okay i'm, I'm getting a clear message actually um
is sort of like if I'm slow, because I can't get it directly, it's not coming through directly, but what, what's basically coming through is if I'm slow, I won't know how I've been used, or I won't know how I've been worked with. It's not even a matter of betrayal or taken advantage of, but you're you're afraid of not knowing something. You're afraid of not seeing something clearly and what that represents for you. You're afraid of looking stupid or afraid of looking or not even looking. You're afraid of giving someone yourself and, you know, sacrificing all your other options while they sort of consume you, but then they have like a lot of other options themselves. You're afraid of there not being an equal give and take. That's what it is. That's what it is. You're afraid of a lack of compromise. You're afraid of these skills not being balanced. I mean, hello, Libra. You've never had that before, have you? But it has created itself to be something that is shackling. So are your relationships shackling you now? Are your relationships only shackles to a difficult ideal that you used to represent, which is no longer maintainable, okay? It's going to be time to take off that blindfold. Third week, two of swords, rooted down by three of cups. <clears throat> That's better. Actually, I don't so much mind that because at least with three of cups, it says to me that there's an open dialogue. It says to me that um, you are seeing the truth, that people who love you are coming in and you have a support network. Let it be validated that if you need to make a change in your life, a support network will be there for you, Libra. Really beautiful. Or even if it's your own self-support network, it will be there. But it's going to be important for you to take that blindfold off. Two of Swords has been quite prevalent this month. I believe it was in Sagittarius reading as well. So for those of you with Sag, you might want to check out that reading. Um, because I did a big explanation on Two of Swords and some of the subtleties there. But um, basically what you need to be weary of is not trusting yourself to know the truth. Okay, And there's a weird interplay there where you see yourself really hungry for the truth and really hungry to even see things about other people in your life that you know aren't necessarily your business but at the same time you can't take the truth and at the same time like seeing that is wanted by you but it hurts so what are the hurtful things that are wanted by you libra that's the devil energy there wanting things which cause you harm but feel good in the moment so yes this can be addiction but i feel that for a lot of you it's like an addiction to a certain person or an addiction to a relationship you're going to need to talk it out in the third week you're going to need to either you know perhaps have like a reading with someone like me or go into a therapist or speak with friends someone who you can really air this all out because you even like if you just speak into the recorder on your phone as like a virtual like diary entry like it needs to be spoken it needs to be not written down I mean writing is okay but speaking is really best because you can like hear the voice tone and stuff you need to hear yourself and you need to have other people hear what this is so that you can really see it because with two of swords um there's a disconnect between what you're thinking versus what it actually is. So saying it puts it out into reality and you understand what it is and you can kind of walk away from it more easily. Week number four, King of Swords rooted down by justice. You have to deliberate, Libra, and it calms down by that period of time. By that period of time in the fourth week, the energy calms a lot. And you're asked by week four of November to take what you're given and deliberate wisely to use your intelligence and wisdom to come to a conclusion which makes sense for your higher growth and ideals as a person that honors your own virtue. So for example, if uh, those of you in a relationship happen to be cheated on, or if you happen to be taken advantage of in some way, it's going to come out clearly by then. You don't have to search for it. You don't have to look for it. It will come out. Um, and when it comes out, when you see it, you have to be able to deliberate wisely and not like lose yourself, not like lose your temper, not become over emotional, but you have to be able to see it and make the appropriate decision. The decision, the appropriate decision to having been cheating, cheated on is to leave the situation, for example, or the appropriate decision to having been taken advantage of by this business person is to terminate the business connection, for example, not, oh my God, I'm so upset by this. I'm going to make a huge scene and then we're going to try to make this better. Watch out for that type of thought. Really understand what your deal breakers are in the fourth week of November, Libra. Understand in a relationship what is your breaking point, what is your point of no return, and how can you honor that. Libra makes concessions. Libra is a sign that like uh, uses its logistical understanding of like give and take and compromise to like for example be cheated on, but then make like the best relationship afterwards. I feel that you need to set a boundary, and I feel that you need to honor yourself and say if this happens to me, I will go and I will be okay with myself. I won't be scared of being alone with myself. Okay. Um, don't be afraid of loss. Don't be afraid of losing people because what you have developed within yourself, Libra, over this period of time has been a wonderful, wonderful um, self to return to. And, you know, the fool being your central theme, it says to me that you have all of these paths open. Your happiness and your 
success in life is not based on the relationships that you have or based on the people in your life. It's based on your own ability to manifest your reality and based on your own ability to follow through on what you set out for. So you are going to be setting out for something at the end of the month. You are going to be starting a new plan or, or strategizing once more. Allow yourself to follow through and allow yourself to enjoy that path. Okay. And again, for like those of you who are single or those of you who are like in happy relationships, do not let this frighten you. Do not let this warn you. This is the type of thing where it's something that you've already encountered and something that you're already going through when you hear the reading. It's not something like you've never come to a psychic reading in a happy relationship and um, hear something about cheating and think you're being cheated on. Like this is only for Le that, that like those messages were only for Libras who like it was something that they were already dealing with and they already like kind of knew about it. Okay. Um, it's a month where if you're in a happy relationship where the relationship does have to evolve, for example, it's a, it's a month where you do have to maybe see some of the more negative ways that the relationship uh, functions and see like what you can do to confront that or to heal that within yourself first and foremost, but to perhaps even be able to confront it in someone else once you've made those steps, okay? Um, but anyway, Libras, thank you so much for checking out this reading. Be sure to check your sun, moon, rising sign if um, it didn't resonate, and it won't resonate for everyone. It's a general reading. Many, many people watch, so do keep that in mind. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. It makes my day and is very helpful, and you can click the center of your screen to see my Patreon page or to book a private reading with me. It is all there, and yes, Libras, Thank you so much. We will be talking soon. Much love, much light. Bye.